all of our students with autism are different. But one of the things that I think is critical for interacting with any student, but it's sometimes hard with a student with autism, is working on building a relationship with them. I think one of the building blocks of working with a student and figuring out what they need is pairing yourself with the things that they like. So for some students, you'll meet them, you'll automatically have a relationship with them. But for some of our students who are more severe, you may need to really pair yourself with an object or an activity that he really enjoys. And if you can make yourself part of that reinforcing experience, that's how you begin to build a relationship with him. And that's how you begin to know kind of what makes him tick. It may be something as silly as he really likes to take tape off the teacher's desk and turn it inside out and play with it. But if you can then make yourself, I've got the tape, let's play with it, that gives you that entree to begin to make a difference and build a relationship with him. For students who are very withdrawn, who are not really interacting with anybody very much, I think one of the things that we can do is really take our level of interaction down and our expectations down. I think we have a tendency to really kind of want to get in kids' face and go, hey, let's do this. And for some of those kids, that might be very intimidating. So when you've got a student who's pretty withdrawn, watch him and observe him and see what he likes to do. What is he drawn to? Um, and so what? then figure out how you can make yourself part of that interaction. Find the thing that he likes and make it more fun because you do it. Uh, but don't immediately insert yourself into his world so much as figure out where he's at and follow his lead.